Now in this video, we're going to be looking at how to enable Microsoft Loop for Office 365 users. Now as an administrator of uh, Office 365, you want to make Loop available to all the users in your Office 365 instance. This is not enabled by default, so you actually have to um, do some configuration actions in the admin of Office 365 to get this started. So the first thing you want to do is create a security group. You want to create a security group from the Office 365 admin. So you go to admin, click on admin, and that opens the admin portal. Now here in the admin portal, you go to the side menu and you click on teams and groups, teams and groups. Let me bump this screen up a little bit so that you can see things more clearly. Okay. So you come to the side menu and you go to teams and groups and you click on active teams and groups active teams and groups as you can see i've created some groups here um now you want to add a group you click add group now when you're choosing your group type be very very cautious because when i first created this or when i first tried to uh, implement this process it was really frustrating and that was because i chose this microsoft 365 group because i saw that it was recommended but what you actually need is a security group so you go down and click security then click next then you can add the name of your um, group. You can say my loop buddies, loop buddies. You can add a description if you want, but if you don't, just click next. And here you have your group. You can review it and you can cre click create group to create a group. So now you have a, your group and that's fine. So you can close this. Now you you would not see it here, and you you might be wondering why it's not here. Let me just call out this. You might be wondering why it's not here. That's because you need to go under security to see the group. So you see my loop buddies. Now one thing you have to do in this group is that you have to click on it, then come here and add group a group owner or owners. Um, you click on add owners, and it will display a list of your coworkers or people that are registered under this instance then you can click one of them like for example i'm just going to add myself yeah adding that as an owner of the group then once you're done you can just close out of this click once again i think there was a back button there but probably i didn't see it uh then now you can go to members members of the group so you have a group owner now you have to add a member so owners are just the controllers of the group, but you have to add members and these are the people that will actually be able to use loop. So yeah, um, you can actually add a, a, a whole group as a member, but I'm just going to add myself again as a member and click add. Now, if you have like four or five people uh, that you want to use loop, this is where you add them. For example, like I said, um, this is how you enable loop for your Office 365 users. They have made it in a way such that you can control the people that have access to Loop. For example, if you are just testing it within your organization and you don't know whether you guys want to use it yet. So, um, yeah, so we have this, we have a member and we can now close out of this. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to add a policy for Loop, a policy that will apply to these Loop buddies. And this policy is going to be the one that will actually make Loop available to these people in Office 365. Now to do that, you go to config.office.com. Let's do config.office.com. You might be prompted to sign in, so you want to just hit sign in. Sign in. I think it's just going to read my session, my currently logged in session, so that should be good. Okay, so we have the sign in. Now you can start creating the policy here from the home page, but you can also get there through this customization and policy management uh, menu. Let me bump this up a little also so that we can see things clearly. Yeah, that's much better. So uh, to create a policy, just go to the uh, Microsoft Office 365 Cloud Policy. Now notice that this is the Microsoft 365 Apps Admin Center. It's different from uh, this, which is the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Microsoft seems to have a lot of admin centers and can get confusing sometimes. So you want to click this. Uh, yeah, so policy configurations. I already have a policy here, but you have to create a new one. So uh, to create a group, or rather to create a policy, you just say my buddies policy. Click next. Then we add a group. And here we can select a group. So we can select any of these groups. Uh, my loop buddies, 
So we want to go with my loop bodies. So we'll just say my my loop bodies. So that's the group, my loop bodies. So we click, select my loop bodies and we save that. Once we have that saved, then we can click next. Yep. And now we go to configure our settings. Now you need to actually enable three loop settings here. But there seems to be a lot of settings here, so I'm just going to search. So I'm going to go to the search bar and say loop. Search loop. And we should have three policies. I'm seeing a total of three, but it's not displaying the policies for some reason. Uh, let's clear the filter. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Now we have them. So these are the loop policies. Um create and view loop files in microsoft apps that support loop that do the apps like uh, microsoft word uh powerpoint just to have loop across the whole office 365 experience so um, i'm going to click on this and set it to enabled let's apply that then um create and view loop files in loop this is for the loop app itself we enable that and finally create and view loop files in outlook which is kind of self-explanatory so in Outlook, we apply that, we enable that, and we click Next. So here we can now review our policy. We can look at the configurations. Uh, we have three policies configured. And yeah, everything looks good. So we can now create a policy. Good. It tells us that our uh, my body's policy configuration is now created. And you can hit down to just exit the page. This will bring you back to the policy configuration screen and as you can see my body's policy is now created and it has a priority level of one which i believe is lower than zero so with this you can now have loop experiences across office 365 but not just yet because these policies can take up to 24 hours to take effect so anything from 90 minutes to 24 hours you might get lucky sometimes like for example when i did mine when i did this loop policy I think I refreshed after, or I tried it after 20 minutes and it was done. Some even say they got it after five minutes. So it all depends on how Office 365 or on the mood of Office 365 is in. But not less than 24 hours, you will be able to have loop access enabled for all your Office 365 users. Or rather, for the Office 365 users that are under the security group that is tied to the policy that you just created.